Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Cancer. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so just a couple quick notes. It's a super windy day. The old windows are right here behind the camera, so you, you're going to hear a little bit of rattling. I apologize for that. Um, as well, I have a bit of a cold. My throat's a bit strained. I'm losing my voice a little bit. But um, I generally feel good and I really am eager to get some messages out. So I'm going to just plow ahead anyway. So Cancer, we begin your reading today with um, the Patience card. And today it wasn't coming across to me as um, you needing to have patience. But it was more coming across with the second card out, the Call card. Um, that there's something that you're not wanting to see. You're actually... Um, deliberately averting your eyes from it or turning away from it. it what it is is I believe somebody or um, something is really trying to get your attention with this call card it's like um, somebody is knocking on your door an opportunity is presenting itself um, some change is trying to come into your life and for some reason, you're just not wanting to see it. You're not ready. Um, so you've, you've turned your back on it. You're turning away from it. Um, a little bit of a shyness or modesty coming through here too. So it's like maybe you think that, um, that like I said, like you're not ready or you're just a little bit hesitant because it's, um, I believe it's a really big energy with the call coming in it's a big energy and so it's just causing you to kind of turn in on yourself a little bit um with the five of fire out next cancer i believe this is you um you know really got your your vision locked on uh you know locked in but there's all this like activity going on above you but you're looking straight ahead you're not seeing it you're not aware of it or you're um, attempting to not be aware of it though you, I'm sure you, you know it I'm sure you are aware of it with this card coming in next the eight of air it's like I said all this activity going on above you messages coming in uh, communication attempting to come in for you but you're almost um, like stubbornly not wanting to see it this is coming across a little bit as a stubborn energy today, like a, like a child sitting there with their arms crossed saying, um, you know, or like, I don't, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That kind of, that kind of an energy cancer. Um, and then with the King of Earth coming out next, it seems to be the message is that uh, you're almost coming across as like an earth sign where you're, you're really reluctant to change or there's something about this energy or this opportunity or this person presenting itself to you that's making you um really kind of settle into where you are in like your foundations your home i was getting a real sense of home and comfort and stability it's like you're um saying i am completely comfortable where i am i don't need I don't need this opportunity. I'm okay here. Um, with the Eight of Fire coming out next, the Eight of Wands is, you know, a really fast moving energy. It's the wands coming in from above. Um, it's, you know, it, it's indi indicative of change, travel, fast changes, fast movement, communicate, like a lot of communication coming in. A lot of illumination coming in. It's just a very fast moving, moving energy. But today with this aid of fire here, it's like this is you here. Um, the figure is holding a fan in front of her. It's like you're, you're just not wanting to see it for some reason. With the six of or the love card coming out next, it's like you're like I said, you're just you've got your eyes closed to it. You're not wanting to see what it is. You're you're almost like purposely blocking blocking your view of it for some reason. Um the world and the fortunes wheel coming out next, Cancer. You know, obviously this is really big energy. This is all about like your purpose in life. It's about starting a, a, a destined new chapter. It's something, you know, especially with the call card. These are really big cards to be coming in, really big energies, like really life altering energies. And that could be part of the reason why 
um, you're reluctant to face it because you know that if you do, your life's going to change in a really big way. And with this King of Earth here, um, you seem to be saying like you're just you're not you're not particularly looking for change, or um, you know you're just you're really comfortable where you are, and maybe you feel like you can feel how much change is is coming in that you feel like if you go with it or you allow yourself to see it it's going to um, take away what you already have, like this foundation or this stability that you already have, it's going to remove that from your life. So it's like you're hanging on to um, a comfort level. It's like your comfort zone. You don't want to give that up. Seems to be the message coming through here. It's like, it's like, you know, really a really dominant shifting life shifting energy and this is your response to it like absolutely like refusing to see it this here i often see as like a clock tower or an alarm clock it's like saying it's time cancer the alarm clock is going off it's time to wake up and face whatever this is for you and the queen of fire coming next like if this is um you know, this call, if this is somebody trying to communicate a message, message to you or actually knocking on your door, it's like you're um, not wanting to see it. So it's going to come in stronger. The queen of fire, she comes in really strong. She sometimes presents as a guide. So this could be a guide stepping in and trying to show you the truth of the situation, um, trying to help you adjust to the shifting energy or it could actually be the person that's trying to um, lure you out of your comfort zone or, or bring some change into your life. You know, the queen of fire, fire is indicative of change and movement and, you know, um, so it seems to be, it's like you're, you're not hearing it. So it's just getting louder and more in your face. Um, the interesting that hap thing that happened here, Cancer, is the nine of earth came out next. And you can see how beautifully visually these cards are um, very mirroring. It looks like almost like the same figure. And what I was getting from this for you, Cancer, today is that, you know, this energy that's coming in, the message that's coming in is this in truth, but something about your perceptions is seeing it as this. So it's like you're not quite seeing the truth of the situation. You have um, a lot of like filter you're you're seeing it through a filter like a maybe a belief system or a fear you're seeing it through fear so you're not quite seeing the truth of it this kind of reminds me of um you know my daughter she sees angels she communicates with angels and such but at one point um a being or some sort of energy uh, appeared to her and she started talking to me about it and she called it a monster and she was really afraid of it because I knew that she was connected to angels and she, she'd been talking to angels up until that point, I assumed that it was probably just a new energy coming in, but a benevolent energy because she'd always been surrounded by benevolence. So um, I spent that, that, that day really talking to her about it and trying to comfort her. She was only like three years old at this time, trying to comfort her in this situation and saying, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's not really a monster coming through. Like, think about all the angels that you have around you. And through the course of the day, she started to relax and um, kind of just her fear started to subside. And when it did, at some point in the day, she said, you know what, mom, I don't think it is a monster. I think it's just a new angel making itself known to me. So it's like she was she was seeing she was seeing it but she was seeing it through a fear filter and so she wasn't seeing the truth of it it was like she was casting her fear over top of it so that's all she could see it was like um a distortion of the truth so that may be a little bit of what's going on here for you cancer is that um <clears throat> this energy coming in is a really pure uh benevolent energy a good change in your life but there's something about it probably because it pulls you out of your comfort zone and that's a bit uncomfortable for you but you're not seeing it completely clear clearly there's there's a distortion in your perception of what's going on perhaps that seems to be the message that's coming through the cards here for you today cancer very strongly 
Um, at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Water. And like I said, this is um, the Ace of Cups, like unconditional love, um, the hand of God coming in and, and bringing an energy of love to you and surrounding you with peace and harmony and goodness and benevolence. So I'm saying it's like the energy here is, um, you know, if you if you take your energy out of it and just look at at what's trying to present itself to you, it's all gorgeous, gorgeous energy about destiny, purpose. Um, you know, this queen of fire being a guide or an angel appearing for you, trying to assist you through this shift in your life. It's all really good, positive, uplifting energy. Um, but there's there seems to be just a fear or hesitation on your part. Um, so I'm going to dig into that a little bit further, create an extended. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description box. Um, and if not, I'll see you next time, Cancer. Thanks. Bye.